Here's a question we get all the time. How many fundamentals should we have? And when people see our list of 30, they always think, that's crazy. Maybe that works for you, but no way is that going to work for our people. And without wanting to be flippant about it, the answer is however many you have. But let me be a little bit more helpful here. Having done this process with more than 350 different companies, you may be surprised to know that the least number we've ever seen is 18, and the most we've ever seen is 40. The sweet spot seems to end up somewhere in the 25 to 30 area. I would tell you that virtually every one of those companies began by saying, I don't want to have any more than like five or six. I mean, this is never going to work for us. You don't understand. None of those companies is saying that today. The conventional wisdom for you know, why you shouldn't have more than four or five or six is because no one's going to be able to remember more than that, right? And you're right. But here's the question. What's our goal? Is our goal to have something our people can recite? Or is our goal to have our people live the behaviors that drive success in our company? Obviously, I think it's the latter. The reason the number doesn't really matter is that whether you have three or seven or 12 or 19, we're only going to be focusing on one at a time anyway. And we're going to do them every week for the rest of our lives. So outside of something silly, I mean, if we had 300 of them, we'd never get back to the beginning. But outside of something silly like that, how many we have is mostly irrelevant. And we're not going up to people saying, hey, can you recite number 14? No, we just know that if we take one at a time and we focus on it intently and we keep cycling through them over and over and over again, sooner or later, these are going to become internalized in our people. And that's why the number doesn't really matter.